Hey, uh, Rico, you're on the just want to shout out the Stephen Scott Rugby Show. Um, wish you guys all the best, Andy. Hey, just shouting out to the Stephen Scott Rugby Show. Keep up the good work. Quick shout out to the Stephen Scott Rugby Show. Awesome. All the best, guys. Yeah, hi, Darren Shand here um, from the Stephen Scott Rugby Channel. Hey, uh, Stephen Scott Rugby Show, uh, Nathan Harris here. Um, all the best and um, good luck for the upcoming shows. Stephen Scott Rugby Show, have a good one, man. Thanks for supporting us. Yeah. Big shout out to Stephen Scott Rugby Show. Awesome. Cheers, boys. Kia ora, everybody. I'm Steve and Scott. And this is Stephen Scott Rugby Show, and today we're going to talk about something that may be very controversial. Are you ready? We're going to talk about the greatest seven that the All Blacks have ever had. We're going to talk about two of our greatest, Michael Jones v. Richie McCaw. Where do we start, Scotty? Yeah, well, <laughs> this is a big topic. This is going to be a little bit controversial. Um, let's start with Michael Jones. Uh, Steve, Michael Jones, to you. Who, who's Michael Jones and what, what does he mean? Michael Jones, to me, as a young Polynesian boy growing up, uh, was somebody that I really admired, somebody a bit like Buck, yep. in the same category. I thought, uh, I remember watching him play and I thought, far out, man, that fella's awesome. Yeah. He's massive, you know, he catches the ball, he runs, he tackles, he smashes. And he was a cool guy, yeah. Michael Jones, yes. you know? Yep. Um, and uh, I just thought, Fire, this guy's awesome. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I've never seen a number seven like Michael Jones in terms of his athletic ability. Yes. Um, it's hard. Even now, um, I've not seen a player like Michael Jones. Mm. Uh, this is... This is the Michael Jones before his injury yes. that I'm talking about now. Yep. Because in, in, in my humble opinion, Michael Jones had two, two sides of his uh, career. He had the one before his injury and the one after he his did. injury, where when he came back into the All Blacks, they slotted him into six. number six. Mm. So I'm talking about the Michael Jones versus the Richie McCaw, the Michael Jones pre his injury. What do you got to say about to Iceman? Iceman, I first I, I remember first watching the Iceman on TV, um, and I was thought, wow! I thought the four Deroni guys who just uh, take their time around the field, uh, pushing the scrum, uh, going to the lineouts, and hoping the ball's going to land in the hand. Then this guy, Michael Jones, wow! He he was just a freak. I thought here's a wing. It was like watching a winger. And a big body playing in the forward pack. Um, I actually had the I had the opportunity to meet Michael Jones. Uh, I think it was maybe 1993. Oh, no, sorry, no, 92. 1992. Had an opportunity to meet Michael Jones, and when I saw him, I thought, "Wow, you're you're not a front someone who plays in the in the front in the forward pack." Um, uh, he was athletic looking. The thing I really liked about him, he was a nice guy. He was a really good person. Um, Michael Jones, he, he revolutionised, he changed the way that uh, the front row, the, the Ford pack played rugby. And to this day, he's still one of my favourites of all time. You, you listen to the likes of Zinzan Brook and... Uh, uh, in New Zealand, uh, back about 10, 12 years ago, they had a sh This Is Your Life. Yes, that's and, right. And that's they right. had a show dedicated to Michael Jones. Yep. And Michael Jones has got a statue outside of Eden Park. Because, well, you know, well, um, <laughs> you know, he, he is, uh, he is, you know, Phil, Phil Jones, the... Uh, the guy who who doesn't like the All Blacks too much, the uh, yeah, he he he's, he reckons Michael Jones is the best he's ever seen, mm. and and he's seen Richie McCaw, so that's my thoughts on Michael Jones, Iceman. Yeah. Now, Scotty, we need to talk about the goat. The goat. The greatest of all time. Yep. Richie McCaw. Okay. Uh, uh, first, I first come across. Richie McCaw at the 2000 uh, Under-20 World Cup Final in Sydney. He was playing in Sydney at the uh, 2000 World Cup Under-20 Final. Uh, Aaron Major at that time, he was the uh, captain of the Under-20s. He was the captain of the New Zealand Under-20s. Uh, and in the final, he was injured. Uh, who steps up? None other than Richie McCaw. Uh, 
the captain for the, they were playing South Africa on that day. The captain for the South African team was none other than the Schalke Berger, another one of my favourites. Um, Richie McCaw, he just had this presence about him at the, uh, they ended up winning that game. Uh, at the end of the uh, the game, the presentation they had, I heard Richie McCaw speak, I thought, this guy's going to be a leader, he's going to be a leader of the All Blacks. <laughs> uh, and later down the track there, we, we saw what he was able to accomplish, but from an early age, I saw that, yeah, this guy's going to be something special. Look, I love Richie, he's humble. He is an awesome leader. He's won two World Cups. Yeah, he did. he did. Two World Cups. Michael got to win one World Cup. Yep. Um, uh, he's revolutionised the number seven spot. Um, he's won everything. You think about how fortunate Mike, um, Richie McCaw's been in his career. Um, he's not really... He didn't really have, a, have, a, have an injury which caused him to be out of the game for a long period no, of time. No. Considering he got smashed so many times, could people just smashed him. Mm. Mm. Yet he still had this longevity. I don't know if it was good luck, or I don't know if it was the way he prepared himself. Maybe it was a combination of both, but... <sighs> Richie McCaw. Richie McCaw. One other memory comes to mind. The 2011 World Cup, I had, I had an opportunity to go to... Uh, back home in New Zealand in six weeks, uh, what's that uh, World Cup, uh, mm. saw him play, and mm. uh, Richie McCaw, it's not till after the World Cup had finished and the, the, the uh, series or the episode came out of uh, about the All Blacks team in that World Cup, uh, he, bro he played on broken with a broken, broken foot. foot. For six weeks, yeah. Richie McCaw had a broken foot during that World Cup. Uh, he didn't tell anyone, he didn't complain. Uh, he, he never trained with the boys. Uh, for someone psychologically and mentally tough as that, and then to go on and win the World Cup in that final, uh, oh, speaks, speaks volumes. Graham Henry said that he didn't believe the All Blacks would have won that World Cup if Richie McCaw never stayed on the field. Mm. That's how influential he was. Yeah. Um, look, Scotty, an another reason why I love Richie is because... I don't normally buy documentaries, right? I watch them once, but I, but on my iPad, I have br breaking, oh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Richie McCaw documentary. Yes. Um, I have that, um, I have that, and I, I just love watching it. Yeah. I just love watching Richie talk. You know, he talked about not just becoming an all black, but mm. becoming a great, great all black. All black. Definitely. And that's what Richie's done. And, you know, I've heard Ma'a talk about him. I've heard all of our great All Blacks talk about Richie McCaw mm. and hold him up on the highest pedestal. Yes. Which is where he w deserves to win. So, Scotty, who's your number seven in our greatest All Black team? Yeah. I'll have to go with Richie McCaw. Uh, as much as I love Michael Jones and his play, I want to see him played on the number six and Richie at seven. Definitely. Well... I'm going to go, uh, Scotty. I'm going to go to Michael Jones before his, yeah, his before injury. his injury. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I can't yep. pass the great. I can't pass the great Ice Man. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. But a special shout out in the number seven positions to the great Wallaby George Smith. Yeah. Oh heck yeah, George Smith. Even to this day, he's still playing. He he first came in 2002, I think it was, into the Wallaby system. What are we, 2008, 16 years later, and he's still at the highest level of rugby playing. Uh, he was here at the Reds in Brisbane. He's heading back off over to England, I think, to play for Bristol. Um, he, he, he's up there with Michael Jones and Richie. For me, he's up there with Michael Jones and Richie McCaw as just an uh, outstanding uh, number seven. And Schultberger, big oh, shout-out to him when he was yeah. a number seven for the Bockies. Definitely. Definitely. Another great, great player. Well... If you've got your comments, leave them down below and tell us who you think would be in your greatest number seven all-black team, Michael Jones or Richie McCall. How are you going, Steve and Scott Rugby Show? Jack Goody here, mate. Uh, looking forward to the next episode.